In this video, we're taking a look at admin and site enhancements. It's kind of like a Swiss army knife for your WordPress website. So let's take a quick look at what it offers and why you may want to take a look at this for yourself. Once you've gone ahead and installed this free plugin, you're going to have a new entry inside your plugin section and you can go ahead and configure now from there. Alternatively, you can come into your tools option and choose the option for enhancements. Both of these will take you to exactly the same place. So let's go ahead and configure things and take a look at what we have. So now we have access to various different options that we can configure. Everything is logically grouped together. So your content management, your admin interface, right the way down to some security options. So let's have a quick look at some of the things inside you and how you could easily replace multiple different plugins just by using this one. For example, you've got options to have content duplication or content ordering. These are normally handled by separate plugins. For example, we choose the content duplication, we'll enable it, hit save changes. Let's go ahead and take a look at something like our pages. And now you'll see we have a new entry called duplicate and we can click on duplicate and that will duplicate every aspect of it. If we're working with posts, it'll take the taxonomies and all those kinds of things with it. Very quick and easy and also just put it into draft state. So it's kind of like nice and useful if you want to use that particular function. Again, coming back out, if we go back in, you can see we've got the options for media replacement. So again, if you choose this, so this will easily replace any type of media with a new one, which kind of stops you from having those sort of ID issues where you change the media and the links no longer work and you have problems. So again, another really useful option. The same goes for SVG uploads. You want to choose what level, in other words, what role you have to be able to have access to that. You may want to lock it down just to administrators or editors. You can do that using this. And again, that's one less plugin you'd need to install. You've also got external permalinks. So if you wanted to have this to link to external sources, which is something that I've had clients in the past need to be able to do that. Again, that's a plugin you'd normally tend to have to install. This allows you to do it straight out of the box. And you've got things like open all external links in new tabs. I would recommend you don't do that because that's not very good for accessibility. Generally, you want to open everything in the same tab. But if you want to ignore accessibility, you have the option to do that with external links. And also things like auto post or auto publish posts that have missed their sort of posting deadline for whatever reason. So there's some pretty useful options in there. Hopping into the admin interface, you can see I've already enabled some features, but you can do things like hiding the admin notices. We all know that the admin dashboard itself can get a little bit annoying with things like help and those dashboard panels when you log in and all those kinds of things you normally go in and disable. This can go ahead and just with a couple of clicks, set all those things, hide them so you don't have to worry about them. And the nice thing with this is it will then roll over to logged in users, not just for you. And you can see some of these have additional options. So for example, the admin menu organizer, we can expand that. And now we can easily go ahead and reorganize anything we want inside you. Plus, we could also very easily rename things inside you. So if we've created things like accommodation, which is a custom post type, Spectra, which is a plugin, ACF, which is another plugin, you could easily go ahead and just change the name of these. Or we can just go ahead and simply reorder things, like we might want to drop these down, pop that up a little higher, because this might be a accommodation-based website. And you can also do things like hide until toggled if you want to. So there's cool control inside you for how this all looks. Again, hit your save changes. You may need to refresh occasionally, but you can see now accommodation sits right at the top and Spectra and ACF now sit down at the bottom. Really simple. Disable dashboard widgets. Again, we can go in and we can choose what we want to disable. Those annoying dashboard panels you have inside your normal dashboard. So if we hope open this up, you can see all this junk that most people don't care about. Well, let's go ahead and get rid of it all. Let's just say we want to take all of those things from there. Again, hit save changes, come back out of here, refresh this, and they're all now gone. Same thing goes for these screen options. You may not want to have the screen options or the help or any of these things where you can use the options inside you to get rid of those things as well. We'd also go ahead and hide the admin bar. So if you enable that again, you can choose what particular roles this applies to. So you may want only the administrators to ever see this and anybody else that logs in don't see it. You can do that inside you. All pretty cool. Log in and log out. 
Now, this is something that normally I would have either my sort of uh, sort of dashboard uh, design panels, you know, the sort of tools you use to design your dashboard and customize it, that would handle it. Or alternatively, I'd have something like iTheme Security would handle things like the login URL. But if you don't use those or you don't want to use them, then you can just as easily use this plugin to do it. So you can change your login URL. Again, we can enable this and we can choose what URL we want to use. Obviously, make something that you understand you're going to know what to change it to or make a note of it somewhere so you don't accidentally change it to something kind of random and then wonder what the hell you've got so you can't actually log in. And the same thing goes, we've got things like login and logout menus. So you can enable login, logout, and dynamic login out menus for addition to any menu. So again, you can enable this function and use that on your site. There's lots of really useful things, including things like redirecting after a login or a logout. So if we enable this option and expand this out, we can choose that everybody bar an administrator might go to a, a My Account page, a custom page. And then the administrator would go to the normal dashboard, the normal WordPress dashboard. This, again, allows you to do that with ease. I'm going to disable these. I don't want to use them, but you also got the same option then for your redirecting after logout. You want to redirect someone to a specific kind of location on your site. Plus, you've got custom code. So if you wanted to be able to customize aspects of the dashboard and you wanted to apply CSS to manually handle this, normally you'd have to include another plugin that gives you access to that. This allows you to easily enable it, expand it, and then you can apply custom CSS to the dashboard of this particular website. You know, pretty cool. Front-end CSS, if you want a custom CSS, if your theme doesn't support it or you're using something like Elemental, for example, that only gives you that as part of the pro version, well, you could use this and have your own custom CSS for the front-end, which you could use to customize things. Lots of use cases. And if you want to do things like insert into the head, the body, or the actual footer, great if you want to put in code for things like your analytics, things like that. Again, if your theme doesn't support it, you can do it directly inside your, and again, without using a third party tool on top of all the other third party tools you may have to use to do some of these. And again, there's lots of useful options inside you. If you want to manage your robots text without actually opening the file up itself, you can open this up inside you, make your changes to it, and boom, you're done. You can also disable components. So for example, you may want to disable Gutenberg site-wide, or you may want to disable Gutenberg in only certain parts. So if you've got users that have access to posts and things like that, you may not want to give them the access to Gutenberg. Well, you can go ahead and you can choose where and when they have access to the Gutenberg editor and where you disable it. So again, really useful to have those options. And the things like block-based widgets, you can enable things on here, disabling comments globally, which is always a good thing. This is again, one of those annoying things. And again, you can choose where you disable comments so you can selectively enable or disable features. Then we've got some things that are useful for you know, a sort of security point of view. If you don't use these features, it's always good to disable them. You know, this is the kind of thing that tools like iTheme Security, WordFence, and so on give you access to. So if you don't use the REST API, you don't use RSS feeds, you can disable those inside you. You can also disable updates. So if you wanted to hide the update side of things inside you and disable everything, you could do it again, which is quite useful if you have customers or clients that you don't want to be able to update things and you want to be able to handle it maybe externally using something like main WP or something like that. Again, I'm going to re-enable these because it's on your test site and things like smaller components. Hopping into security, this again is where you can do things that you normally do inside a security plugin. So you can limit the number of login attempts and you can handle what happens there. So quite a nice little feature. You can obfuscate author slugs. So one of the things you have when it comes to security issues is you don't want people to know the username of any of the people on the website. The author sort of profile pages can give that information away, and then they've got 50% of the login details for anybody's account. This will obfuscate that and also remove the actual uh, original user links, so you've got a little bit more security using this method. Next up, you've got Disable XML RPC. Again, another thing that's used inside most security plugins. For most use cases, unless you connect up to some external sources, you don't need XML RPC. So you can protect that inside you. Then you can come to your optimization, so you can handle upload image control, so you can restrict images for being big images, so you can stop users uploading massive images. 
you can have revision control. So again, one of those things that fills up your database is having lots of revisions when you're making little changes and it's auto saving in the background. All those revisions add content to the database, which ultimately potentially slows things down because there's a lot more data in your databases, most of which is redundant and most of us don't go and clean things out. So I use WP Sweep. This is something that could remove the need for me to do something like using that by just handling this and limiting the number of revisions for any of these particular parts of the website. Again, super useful. And then you've got your heartbeat control. Now, the heartbeat is basically when WordPress kind of triggers things and it goes through the API and it checks for things, you can set how this actually runs. So by default, it'll run to a certain timescale, but you can adjust this to your own kind of like settings that you want to reduce any kind of CPU load on your server. Great if you've got shared hosting or cheaper hosting plans and a very busy site, you may want to, to kind of like modify the way this actually works. And then finally, you've got utilities. So if you wanted to use SMTP for your email delivery, which again is one of those things that for most use cases, that is probably recommended because the normal post method, email method when it comes to WordPress is not the most reliable. But again, you normally have to use a plugin to handle this. Well, you can use it all inside here and control things inside here as well. You can handle user roles, admin roles, password protection, maintenance modes, and redirect 404 to the homepage. So if you have a kind of problem, you've got perform 301 permanent redirects to the homepage for all 404 pages. So if you don't monitor and check these things, you don't want to have to deal with 404 pages. If you change things, this will automatically set a permanent 301 redirect on any 404 pages to redirect it back to the homepage. So that way you don't alienate and annoy users, you at least get them onto your site and then they can go and explore what they want without hitting a 404 page, which doesn't look the best. That basically is admin and site enhancements. There are so many little things inside here that reduce the need to have a dozen plugins installed. Or if you don't want to deal with security, but you want to have some kind of level of protection and you don't want a full security plugin, this at least is a good starting point. I don't recommend it in place of a good security plugin, but it's a good starting point if you want to at least put some things into place. Maybe while you're testing a site out, developing a site, might be a long-term project. You don't need to have all those things installed. This is a quick and easy way of at least removing a lot of those annoying little things that can cause problems and security issues. Anyway, that's admin and site enhancements. I think it's a super useful little plugin and one I think you should check out if you haven't already tried it. But let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Have you tried it? Do you like it? Would this make you want to give it a go? Let me know. As always, all applicable links are in the description. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tats. Until next time, take care.